I've seen some of my shows, not all of them. I, I watch them every chance I can. When I lived to the place where I had a VCR, I used to watch my shows all the time. Since I've been here in 79, I actually had one apartment, and the rest have been in and out of hotels. The French Cottage is where I live when I have enough to live there. When I'm not at the French Cottage, I kind of sleep wherever, whenever. Sometimes, you know, in like on doorways or sometimes the Three Geniuses will let me crash their place, you know. I'm poor and famous. Hollywood see me on TV. Would you like anything for Christmas? Yeah, I'd like a house. Prancing dancer needs our help badly. She is homeless now. I help her out with food and help her out with money when I see her. Okay, let us be still and know that he is God. And let us pray that God is going to bless the homeless with a home, the jobless with a job, the lonely person with their right companion. Uh, my personal life is, well, it's been pretty dried up and lonely. I've joined different dating services, which have been a nightmare. Uh, girls will lie and say they're going to go out with me and they'll never show up on a date uh, or never show up to do my show. I'm going to find out what my fortune is. Hope my fortune um, that I get back on TV as an actor and I get an attractive, beautiful woman to date and go out with and have a long-term monogamous relationship with. Well, it doesn't say that. It's my ad ran like this handsome, divorced Afro-American male, non-smoker, non-drinker, looking to, to, to date a woman who likes puppets into Christian science and UFOs. I found out that the Catholic Church and the, and the, uh, and the Jewish synagogue is really hiding what's really in the Bible. People from outer space taught the prophets in the Bible. The space people brought us religion and taught us to believe in the one God. Can you use this uh, Milky Way? Uh, uh. Our government is hiding the existence of UFOs. I've had extraterrestrials come into my room and talk to me. An extraterrestrial lady that was visiting me and she says, I want you to do a UFO show to tell our presence is real. It's not make-believe, it's not fiction. I, I did my first UFO show. Hi, this is Junior Christian Science Bible Lesson Show where all are accepted and unrejected. And, you know, we're not alone in the universe. Um, there are other people from outer space that are human beings like us. Howdy, I'm Mr. Gray the Martian, and I'll be singing the second song with... Did Ezekiel see a UFO up here in the sky, you know? It was a wheel within a wheel. Telling us that UFOs are real. You know, who are you trying to fool? We all know UFOs exist. The song after, the, that's from the last show, cut. With technical problems. I want the things to be perfect. I used to be in the military. I like things to be done professional to my best ability. Uh, I like to give people the best. You wear a lot of hats when you do a public access show. You have to be the producer, you have to be the director, and the puppeteer. It's like a lot of work. Thank you all very much. Uh, let's see, I've been on David Hart's show uh, many times. His show's great. I mean, he, he really reaches out to kids with those puppets. And at first I thought, man, kids don't watch the show. Kids really do love his puppets, you know. Chip is great. I mean, he is a star. David Hart has, he's reappropriated the term boy, you know, black boy. You know, just like gays took the word queer and made it their own, he took the word black boy and made it his own. We are so blessed by the almighty God that we have two talented guests on our show. I'm going to start with Dan. He does his own show called Three Geniuses. Do you have an affirmation to teach kids to stay in school and say no to drugs? Kids, get into something more productive like uh, public access television or puppetry or Christian science reading rooms. Dig Amen. The end. David Hart should be the head of the Christian Science Church. He is, he's doing more for them than anyone has ever done for them. I love public access. It's my favorite station. The Partridge Family Temple, we started doing that show about a year ago, I think. 
So I produce a bunch of shows. I'm kind of like the Aaron Spelling of public access. I don't know if you realize that. But uh, it's not just three geniuses. The Partridge Family Temple, it's, it has a different kind of aesthetic or whatever than three geniuses. Welcome to the Partridge Family Temple. Everybody needs a religion. And the Partridge Family Temple is the religion for these people who don't really find fulfillment with other religions. And it's, it's religion based on television, actually. And the whole premise is that the Partridge Family, the characters are archetypes and they are gods. Like, I don't know if you realize this, but like right now I am Keith Partridge. Dan is the new Keith. I am the reincarnation of Keith Partridge himself. He's the second coming of Keith Partridge. We like to use television as a mind expansion tool. Right now I can reach the masses via television just like the gods reach me via television. You know, the resurrection will be televised of, you know, the Partridge gods. The show is a way of opening your mind and letting yourself free with psychedelia and realizing that television is reality and reality is whatever you make it. It's like television and reality becoming one and the same and vice versa. Unfortunately, we're not really a tribute band. We are a religion. We're a cult that worships television and we love the Partridge family. You all know who you want to do. Partridge family, if you listen to the music, this, it's like a spoken Bible. The Partridge family temple is huge. It really is like the biggest underground religion. People come to us and we do try to recruit. We try to recruit through the television and uh, just by meeting people. I think I love you. Parkers Family Temple. I didn't have a life before that. And thank God to Gittle and Dan that I have a new life. It's kind of like a lower brow type of Church of Scientology. We love television so much that we're not gonna like be these really weird creepy people who try to like fit in and blend into, you know, I don't even know what kind of weird standard it is. Like Hollywood has a really weird type of people out here. These people I meet all the time. They're like, oh, I'm the host for this TV show. And there are these really creepy, boring people that, you know, I really have no interest in. But they're on TV, so I, you know, I can take that. I just love television so much, it doesn't matter.